I'm Katie Chen. I'm a food blogger, a cookbook author, and a working mom. My cooking videos are all about fast, fresh, and fabulous Asian recipes that anyone can make at home. Hi, I'm Katie Chen. Welcome to the Sweet and Sour Chronicles. Today, I'm so thrilled to have my dear friend Randall the Honey Badger. Yay! I'm so excited to be here in the kitchen with Katie Chen. This is crazy. Oh my God, I'm so honored that he's here. He's a YouTube sensation. I'm sure you knew that, but in his honor, I wore a snake dress. Oh. I love it. I'm an eat me. Such a badass. Oh my God, speaking of badass, we're making badass turkey meatballs today. Oh, turkeys are so cray cray. Amazing. And FYI, the only time it's okay to not be a vegetarian is if you're in a kitchen with Katie Chin. That's right. I'm going to change you. Let's do it. <laughs> this turkey. Okay, we're going to start with some turkey. <laughs> and then we're going to start with uh, some egg. I'm okay. just going to laugh at this. Okay, things. okay. And then some ginger. Oh, ginger, hi. And some salt. Oh, how much? Oh, great. All right, now will you get your hands dirty? Can you smush it all up? Yes. Okay. Certainly. Smush, 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 smush. smush. I'm smushing. Yeah, you smush, but you don't want to handle your meatballs too much. We'll just oh. kind of toss it all together, yeah. That's excellent massage. Is this good? Yes. I'm just trying to give this bird. Are you available on weekends and evenings? <laughs> yes. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> like a cat. I, yeah, can, I can do this meow, little meeting. Meow, 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 meow. Turkey. Okay, so let's just make some nice meatballs. Okay. Okay. We're going to make these appetizer size. Okay. About that size? Just, oh, okay. All right, good. Oh, wait, I got right. it here. You're a real I'm, baller. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't need to be such a baller here. <laughs> but this is just too, okay. Like this? Maybe this? Perfect. Okay. And we'll be back to saute in a minute. And we're back. We're ready to brown our balls. Is okay. That, okay, let's brown them. Could you just put a little oil in there for me? Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's too okay. much. No, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you know, I get very hesitant sometimes in the kitchen because I'm really more of an eater than a lover. I mean, I'm more of an eater than a fighter. I mean, I'm more of an eater than a cook, <laughs> is what I mean to say. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh no, oh, no, okay. Fall Don't overboard! I say nothing. Okay, all right, okay, get shh, over shh, there. Shh. All right, you want to Run, turkey, run! Like, yes. Yeah, that would be awesome. Do, 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 do. We're just going to brown these for about five minutes. The sauce is this boss. The sauce is boss. What now? What are we? How, how do we make this a sauce? Is a Penang curry sauce. Okay. A badass Penang curry sauce. So I'd like you to just pour some coconut milk in there. Ooh, coconuts. Yeah. Just like this. All yeah. Over there. There's the coconuts. That's right. Okay. We have to wait for this to come to a boil, and then it boils for like three minutes. Okay. Okay. Now that the coconut milk has been boiling for a while, we're gonna add our Penang curry paste. The whole thing? Yeah. I'm gonna put some here. And some over here. Okay. It's gonna taste better that way. So now you're gonna take this spatula and break it up. Okay. Okay. Break up. Break you up. Get, you know, just kind of smooth it out so it blends with the coconut milk. <laughs> Make like you just met on OK Cupid and break up. Break up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was terrible. Now wait a second, it's very sticky. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna just like this. Okay. This is what I do, I just kind of like break it up like this in little pieces. Stir it around. Oh. See? Doesn't that smell yummy and spicy? Yes. So Penang curry is slightly milder than red curry. Oh. But if you don't have Penang curry, you can use red curry. It's totally fine. And where where can someone get this Penang curry? You can get it in an Asian market, but you many times can find red curry paste just like at Ralph's or Mons or okay. You know who's Ralph? Like, don't you know Ralph? Should I go to Ralph's? Yeah. Why not? I like now. You know, have you ever seen John's? Yes, yes. The different yes, version of Bonds. Yes. One John's. time I drove by a John's and yeah. I just took down the V from the Bonds and put it in J. Oh, and you could tell. I love it. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like, yeah. you could tell, and then they didn't care. <laughs> they don't care, please. You think John cares? John doesn't. Please. Care. John don't care. Anyways, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look okay, that's now, gorgeous. Just hold this for me. Okay. And now to this, we're going to add some water. Okay. Stir it around. Some brown sugar. Wow. Break that up. Brown this is sugar. Fish sauce is going to lend the salty to the sweet sour salty. That's sauce. my friend. I fish love sauce fish. Is your friend. Yes. Do you know what it's made out of? No. Dried anchovies. Fermented anchovies. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is a kefir.
Beer lime leaf. Smell that. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Kaffir lime leaf, nothing like it. Intoxicating, fragrant, aromatic. How are you finding these things? things? Um, you know, I have my sources. Okay, now we're gonna stick our turkey balls back in. Okay. Okay. Here they come. Oh, okay, watch out. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Okay. Oh, okay? We're just gonna let these simmer now. Yes. Simmer down and simmer. continue cooking. And then wow. Back. Okay, you ready to plate these? Yes, I sure am. Do you want some tongs? Tongs, tong, tong, tong. Wow. wow! Please check out my latest cookbook, Everyday Thai Cooking, available on Amazon and fine booksellers everywhere.